Hey, Sim fans, it's your pal Peter here with the next episode of my Apocalypse Challenge. Uh, in the last episode, we had the meet and greet, and we are picking up the next morning, which is Monday morning, and it's time for Bella to go to class. Uh, I do want to start out by apologizing for the uh, brief hiatus. Uh, as you know, I'm playing this challenge with SimFan Crystal, and um, her old computer died, and so we had to wait for her to get a new computer. So she has now gotten her new computer, so we can resume uh, filming these episodes for you guys. So we're picking up with this episode. Like I said, today is Monday, so she's got her first day of classes. So we're going to go ahead and send it live here as she goes off to her first class of the day, which her first class is Lectures of Science 101. We're going to go ahead and have her work hard. And she's got a noon class, so her dorm's pretty empty because everybody's already at class, and she's just starting the day. I haven't been in this game file for a while, so it's got a little bit of lag. Gotta let it open up here okay she is now in class some familiar campus faces for those of you who have played university you got Ashley and Eddie and Sarah and Connie and Miles And we'll go ahead and put it on speed three while so she is in class. So we'll go ahead and we'll, after class, let's see, when is her next one? Are they back to back? Oh, yep, she's got back to back classes, so. I've been playing a couple other personal games and doing a lot of university, so. It's a little hard to keep them all straight, but I'm going to do my best here. One of my personal games, I am playing uh, the Ultimate Sim Challenge created by Landros, and it's really fun just waiting for him to post the rules back up. He's had the rules down for almost a month now, so it'll be nice so we can get the rules back up so we can continue playing. Okay. Now she's going to class number two. It's in it just happens to be in the same building, so she's doing all right. So after class, we're going to go ahead and have her pose nude as long as she's here. Because in the challenge rules, you're allowed to pose nude uh, once a day. 
So we'll go ahead and have her get that out of the way right away. And we'll have her most, the main thing we're going to be doing while at the university is skill building. So she, she kind of gets free reign with her skills while she's at university. And then once she gets home, that's when the limitations really start. So, uh, of course, we got to work on her primary skills to help her with her grades. And then also work on, um, I'm going to have her go into culinary when she gets home. So, we're going to have to work on her cooking skill. So, we're going to work on cooking and athletic because um, if they have athletic, that helps when they become elders. Because remember, we do lose control of them once they become elders until the artisan uh, restriction is lifted. But if they have level 10 when they hit athletics, when they hit elders, um, it does benefit them. They can leave the house and whatnot, and they're not as restricted. So... It's a good thing to get your elders or get your sims mastered in athletics before they turn elders. So, we're going to be doing a lot of skill building. So, And other exciting news, I think I'm going to be buying a new uh, mic here to record pretty soon, so that should be exciting. You guys won't have so much trouble hearing me. So let's see if the roommates made any food. It looks like Amy is going to make some, so let's just have her... Do a little cleaning around the dorm to keep her busy until the food is ready. Oh, we'll finish making the food, Goofy. Affections appear to be developing between Richard Randall and Patty Hall. All good for them. Oh geez, everybody's in a pissed off mood. She's red. He's red. He just said, screw it, I'm going to bed. Who the hell is telling a ghost story? I can hear it. Right What the heck? I can hear it. Huh. Oh, they were out here somewhere. Oh yeah, there they are underneath the tree. Ah, oh, she burnt it. Yes, we're going to have to eat some burnt macaroni. Horrifying quality. Isabella is going to be throwing up later. Oh, well. Okay. So we're going to have her work out. And then we'll work on some cooking. Like, do I really got to eat this crap? Mm. I don't want to eat this crap. I'm sitting next to a smelly girl. Ugh. Oh. Good girl. Ugh. It's you're the one that stinks, Amy. Sorry, Bill. That's the only thing that was prepared. Hmm. 
Everybody's eating it. <laughs> Car, Joe, Jill, huh? Hmm. Huh, maybe because she's inappropriate, it wouldn't bother her. Eat nasty food. That works for me. Dude's in red and he's out there starting to fire. Silly cads. Okay, we'll go ahead and speed her through this a little bit. A one and a two and a one and a two and a fall on my butt. One and a two and a fall on my butt. One and a two and a fall on my butt. <laughs> We're gonna have a sore tushy. You can do it, Bella. <laughs> oh, poor Bella. You get her some butt pads. After she's done with that, we're going to go ahead and she's going to come down here and sponge the bear. Then we're going to Genius IQ and Brain and Him. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, Bella, no, stay away from the pretty lights, oh, no, no, in my ultimate sim, her first day of college, uh, she went up to greet somebody and they got hit by lightning. And Bella's first day of school, she gets abducted by aliens. Alright, then. While stinking. I love that. Bella's technically here, she's just invisible. Kind of like The Sims 4, where the babies go invisible, but they're technically still there. Back. Let me get back. And we're going to sponge bath. And we're going to genius IQ and brain enhancement. And then she can sleep. Well, this has definitely been an eventful first day at university. Well, first day of class in university. Good thing I didn't start with a mail sim then, huh?
Speaking of alien abductions, EA decided to reduce the frequency of alien abductions in Sims 4, and I've been trying to get my Sim abducted for since Get to Work came out and had no luck. And now they reduced the opportunity to get abducted. So it's like, gee, thanks. I wanted to get abducted. And let's say I'm not impressed with Planet Sixum either. Not what I was expecting. I don't know how you guys feel about Get to Work. I love the new jobs. But not impressed with the aliens. It is cool that you can create an alien from cast, but not impressed with the rest. They don't even get a spaceship anymore. They don't have any of the special abilities they had in Sims 3. So, okay, she doesn't need the second sponge bath. Well, I wasn't quite sure. Because sometimes the one sponge bath doesn't get her hygiene all the way full. We're going to go ahead and get her brain enhancement and her genius IQ. Because as I stated in Crystal and I's version of the rules, we get to do one of each per day. So one skill and one brain enhance or one genius IQ per day. And you can only use the brain enhancer up to skill level five. So, for example, if you're using the brain enhancement to level up cooking, you can only go to level 5 on the Brain Enhancer, then you got to start reading the cooking skill books. Same with the... or with any of the skills. So, once we reach that point, we will be taking Bella to the library so she gets the boost in reading. She's got a wish to learn gardening here, so we're going to give her satisfy that one wish, but we won't be working on gardening beyond this point. So we will go ahead and get her off to bed, and then that will be where we stop this episode. So... Definitely an interesting day. She's got six hours to class. That alien abduction really screwed her up. So she's going to get a little bit of sleep, but not too much. So. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. This has been episode three, first day of class. So we got alien abducted and started working on our skills. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And in the next episode, it will be our second day of classes and more skill building. So. That's about all we're going to be doing at university is skill building and going to class. And trust me, that's the exciting part. Because once we get home, the restrictions apply and it gets a lot harder. So, I thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye for now.